my god. <clears throat> I was like coughing all night long. And I don't know why it's this weather. I'm gonna chalk it up to the weather because the weather's been seriously fucking with me right now. My allergies have been going crazy. And I was never allergic. I never remember being allergic. Never. Not even as a kid. I was not allergic. Like you just become allergic. When you get older, it's just a thing, it's a thing that happens. How that works, <clears throat> but yeah, um, I spent a late night out. I got back kind of late, but then I didn't get to sleep because I was coughing, and that kind of sucked. It kept waking me up and waking me up. <clears throat> I watched that movie with uh, oh, yeah, this is vlog number two. I watched that movie with, uh, what's her name? Kristen Stewart, personal shopper. God. I don't like review movies or anything, and I don't want to spoil it. But I'm gonna spoil it. I, what the hell, what is the deal? Like. get her sometimes like I've, I've been kind of I've had a thing for her since like Twilight or whatever and and I dig the chick I like to watch her but she always has that same expression and she can't get past that emotion of anger like she's always showing that she's angry I don't know what that's about like it's supposed to be cool or something. Like the like the angry model thing. I'm mad because I can't eat food kind of thing. I don't know what it is. But yeah, so she's a personal shopper for some rich bitch. I don't know if she's like a model. Because apparently she was in Fashion Week. So anyway, all she does is like go around she's in paris and she's going around in her scooter buying clothes and jewelry for this for this one lady that we really don't know what she does <clears throat> but yeah it made no sense to me because the whole time she's trying to contact her dead brother's spirit if that makes any sense she's trying to contact him his name is lewis so she just keeps saying his name over and over in some random uh old house. I don't know if he died there. I don't know why she's in that house. Apparently she was a medium and so was he. So yeah, it's just... But a spirit does like uh, contact her or whatever. And then she's like afraid of it. Like I thought she was going to be all for it. Like yeah, I want to talk to my brother or whoever you may be. Like no. She's hiding in a corner in a fetal position. It was weird. And then, and then the spirit puked on her with like ghost puke or something. I don't know. So apparently the lady that she's working for gets killed and she finds her in a pool of blood in her bedroom. But the whole time she's been texting with some stranger and she don't know who the stranger is. Like where did he come from? But she only met one guy in the whole movie and he was like, I don't know if he was a photographer because they never really explained. But he was involved with that lady for two years or something. Just like her, her secret love. So I think he killed her. But then at the end it's like she goes to, I don't know where she is, but she starts like seeing glasses fly around and break themselves out of nowhere. And she's like, oh. <laughs> She starts talking to the spirit. She's like, is it you? Is it you, Lewis? And, and the spirit's like hitting something, tapping on something for once for yes and two for no. That's all I can figure out. So she's like, are you there or is it just me? Like, I didn't understand that. And then, and then the ghost like hit something to show that yes, it's only you. You're the only crazy one here. Yeah, only her and me because I was watching the damn movie. I, I have to fall in the category of crazy. I 
saw the whole damn thing. Maybe that's what got me sick. I just started coughing like crazy. I couldn't even sleep. Now I'm running late. The day will come. I will not be running late. The day will come. But not today. I'm just always running late. Is that ever going to change? I don't know. Maybe. In my defense, I have been giving myself detention. If I do go late to work, I'll stay late. I put in the time. I've done this before. So I decided to uh, vlog today. And I don't know how I'm going to do it. It's going to be a little bit different than what I tried before. And I don't have any fun. My life is boring as fuck. But I do cool things. So that's kind of like the contradiction. And if you uh, follow my Instagram, follow my Instagram. If you don't, do it anyway. I put up a clip of footage that I got yesterday afternoon, I guess it was after work, but I didn't put it together till late at night and uh, I couldn't sleep. So that's what I did. And it, I thought it was pretty cute. It was pretty funny. Um, I'm playing with monkey knuckles. But yeah, the clip is a mock-up, my mock-up attempt of like a news bulletin type of thing. Yeah. It was easy to make. So I thought why not? But yeah, I thought it was pretty cute. Look at it. I'll post it here. I'll post a link. Get on there. Like it. Follow me. And all that kind of stuff. I don't care. <coughs> I want to see more stuff like that. I have another clip I need to put up and I haven't done that. So, that's what I have planned for today. Later in the day, put that clip. You're going to like it. I think you're going to like it. For those of you that don't know, I do all kinds of skill toys. I don't know why. My brother says I'm a LARPer. He's like, you can follow a traveling circus of renaissance fair and I don't <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that and I don't want to be in Circus Soleil and I don't want to be in any circus I can't juggle that good I don't want to be a clown I just do skill toys they calm me down I focus better I don't know I'm good at eye hand coordination I guess I have I have dexterity yeah. It's more like an addiction, I think. It's like an addiction. It, people have addictions, and I have one for skill toys. It's not a bad thing. Yeah, it's kind of like an addiction. on music but I need to finish that. I was going to do that this weekend. I have something coming up that's kind of big. I have a drop that's coming. Two. I have two drops. But I'll tell you more about that later on my trip to music uh, with a Nintendo DS. Yeah. It's an ongoing thing. It all depends on like what time I have to devote to certain things. And I have so many different projects and I aspire to participate and, and do my part in each of them. But yeah, it's finding the time is not always that easy. But it'll happen. I mean, I'm never stressing about it. I know that it's going to happen. It happens when it's supposed to happen. I'm at work. Go away.
Dude, it's hot. I'm on my lunch break. Oh, <laughs> no red light. I have like all this work piled up on me and one day I have to get it done. And there's more work than what it seemed to be. But apparently I think I'm overthinking it. I don't think that I need to do that much stuff to it. So I'm gonna chill. The people have asked me what, what do I do at work? What do I do for work? I guess the best way to explain it is if you notice that road work is being done and they're repaving the road, they're going to install new utility lines or there's a new store being built or a new subdivision being constructed. I would be the one that draws the stuff that's being built way before it's built. So I'm, I work on early stages of development for residential, commercial, and a lot of city work. And I do that on AutoCAD. Civil 3D. Yeah. And I'm running out of time anyway because lunch passes way too fast. An hour is not long enough for lunch. They should make it at least two. At least two. Maybe an hour and a half. One hour is just not enough. Oh my god, yes. they were trying to compete with Keeleys because I think they came up with something like that. But yeah, I have it. I ride it pretty well. Shout out to Robito. He was saying he's got one and he's not that very good at it. But uh, I've used this for quite a while. The um, it's mainly my open close gate vehicle. 
for doing that because I'm just too damn lazy to walk and it seems faster when I roll. today, huh? out of this place. <laughs> I got honked at. My first honk. Because they saw that I was vlogging. This is embarrassing. <laughs> Day at work, like the day just flew by. 